In this video, I'll show you start to finish how I would create a radio jingle. Coming this Black Friday through to Cyber Monday, I'm opening up a small amount of spaces to beta testers for my brand new audio production course covering everything I do here at Music Radio Creative. If you're interested, mrc.fm slash learn is the place to go and get involved. And if you're watching in the future, join in right now at mrc.fm slash learn. Now, this video is especially for Jamesy200, who requested recently on my YouTube channel he'd like to see more tutorials that cover my start to finish radio jingle production workflow. Uh, so let's get started with a raw voiceover. Here it is, uh, the Planet Radio. This is the sound you breathe, the Planet Radio. And the best thing is we've got a nice few cuts. The Planet Radio. And? The Planet Radio. And? The Planet Radio. That's good. It's a normal flat voice with a little bit of compression there, uh, which is a pretty good start. But now I'm going to drag in, I've got my production elements here, Music Radio Creative production elements, which you can get at musicradiocreative.com slash radio and look for instant downloads. Now I will go in and the first thing I've noticed is the sample rate of this is 48,000 hertz. So I'm going to do a quick conversion here, convert sample type, and we'll make sure that uh, we'll keep that stereo 44100, 16 bit. Actually, we'll put that up at 32 bit and click OK. Now we have it in the same uh, kind of reference that I'd be using. Now, I could use my Music Radio Creative presets for Adobe Audition, but in this case, I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to go for no template uh, so that I can really show you what I do to make this voice pop out and sound really good uh, with a few effects. So we'll just start off with an entitled session, the session you'll usually get when you go into Adobe Audition. Uh, and then I'll bring this in onto track one. So I'm going to go ahead straight away and do some cool EQing and stuff like that. So the first thing I would probably do is hop in and look for filter and EQ, parametric EQ. Let's go to default. This is the and I'm going to roll a high pass filter on this. This is the sound you breathe, the planet radio. That's good. Make it crisp and clear with a bit of high frequency here. Change the shape of that high frequency. This is the sound you breathe, the planet radio. Okay, pulling up the high end there, and we'll do a bit of notching as well. Why not a bit of notching to check those frequencies out? This is the sound you breathe, the planet radio. Okay, there's a bit of a nasty frequency there. We'll just dip out. This is the sound you breathe. Cool. Okay, next in the chain, I'm going to roll in some de esser because I can definitely hear uh, that the sibilance here. The planet radio, you breathe. Sound, 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 sound. So you can hear the... And actually, the gain reduction on that DS setting is already working. But let's really examine this by going into spectral frequency, accessible up here at this icon. And uh, we can see here, let's go into the marquee selection tool, uh, that we've got a lot of sibilance around this area. We can examine that further in the window. We can go to frequency analysis here. And what I might do is actually play and hold. Okay, and then we can see the frequencies that we're working with. We're working with frequencies around 10,000 10, hertz. So I'm going to put that center frequency there at 10,000 hertz, and then we'll reduce the bandwidth as we need. Already that's sounding better. That's without, that's with, and then sibilance only. Ooh, that's painful. Uh, let's have a listen to this. This is the sound you breathe. The Planet Radio. Actually, that's really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Could change the threshold to make it harsher or lighter, but I think that works nicely. So, so far, we've got parametric EQ. We've got de -esser. Now is the time to add in a bit of single band compression to this. This is the sound you breathe. And we're going to bring the threshold down to minus 20. We're going to push the ratio up to 3 to 1. This is the sound you breathe. The Planet Radio. This is the sound you breathe. Now I've actually compressed that. I could probably DS a bit more. Let's pull the threshold down. This is the sound you breathe. This is the sound you breathe. Let's change the bandwidth. This is the This is the sound you breathe. The Planet Radio. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Uh, so next... This is the sound you breathe. We are getting a, a pretty decent sound there. Uh, I might go ahead and add a little bit of the mastering. This is a, a, not the guitar suite there. Whoops, a, a misclick. Uh, it's a secret weapon here to make a vocal pop out even further. This is the sound you breathe. The Planet Radio. I usually go for subtle clarity to start. Let's pull the reverb out. Exciter down. Uh, widener. 
can stay at uh, zero. We don't need that. Loudness maximizer off. This is. Let's slowly move in the exciter. This is the sound you breathe. The pl this is the sound you breathe. Loudness maximizer up a bit. This is the sound you breathe. And then we'll do some high shelf as well here. This is the sound you breathe. The planet radio. I'm actually going to roll the high shelf off a bit. This is the sound you breathe. The Certainly above 10k here. Because this is the sound you breathe. It's a little sibilant. So now uh, this is nice. Uh, another thing you can actually throw into the mix, which works really well, is the vocal enhancer. Really the easiest uh, preset you can use in Adobe Edition. You just select whether it's male, female, or music you're working with. So female. This is the sound you breathe. Adds a really nice imaged sound to the voice uh, as a final part in the chain. This is the sound you breathe. So now we've got something that's sounding really good. Let's pull in some sound effects again. Sound effects here in the Music Radio Creative Production Elements. And I'm going to just pull a few over uh, from my secondary screen there. And we'll put these, we can put these on any... Uh, any track really this is the sound you breathe okay next what I'm gonna do now I'm really happy with this chain that I've set on the the voiceover I'm actually gonna save that as a preset and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna save this preset as uh, specifically for the planet radio uh, voice now if I was doing a long production session and we had tons and tons of voiceovers I could just return back to this preset anytime I wanted um, but what I'm actually gonna do now is hop down and go to the uh, let's see the multi-track here and I'm gonna go into uh, let's look for what is it that I need I need actually to uh, let's actually not not do it through the menus let's right click and we'll go to track and we're gonna add a stereo bus track here and I'm gonna add that planet radio uh, set up here and instead of having so now I can take it off all of these effects now can disappear from track one which by the way I'm gonna label as my voiceover uh, this is gonna be an SFX track and this is also gonna be an SFX track and I'm going to run this one through the bus, bus A it's called at the moment, but we'll call it VOFX. So now all of my voiceover effects are on the VOFX bus. I can actually move up. I'm going to move this track up here and I'm going to call this VOFX. Well, no, actually that's something different. So I can differentiate, uh, write chorus correctly. VO chorus. There we go. Okay. And I'll run that through the bus as well, meaning I'll get all the goodness from the effects I've put on the bus. So no matter what track I'm on now, we've got... This is the sound you breathe. The planet... And now I can go in and have fun and add things like a bit of chorus here. Breathe. The planet radio. Things like that. Uh, I can also go ahead and double up. I might double this up now to track five and we'll call this VO Crush. And I'm actually going to see if I can add in a third party plugin here, which I can automate. Uh, where are we going for? Air Music Technology, Air Lo Fi. It's a really good little bit crusher uh, plugin. Uh, Planet Radio. Radio. Let's have a listen to this on its own. And again, notice it's flat. The Planet Radio. Because I'm not running it through the bus yet. As soon as I run it through the bus, The Planet Radio. Perfect. Okay, so uh, this is now running and we can bring the sample rate down. The Planet Radio. Uh, so we can do something like that or... Radio. The Planet Radio. What we can do is, and what I'd like to do, is pop this out, put on uh, an envelope for the plugin that I've just inserted, and we're going to change the sample rate ever so slowly, like this. Radio. The Planet Radio. So something like radio. that. Radio. The Planet Radio. Radio, the planet radio. Something like that. And we might actually keep an initial mix in play as well. Let's do that. Planet radio. Let's try and sync those up though. Radio, the planet radio. A bit more. Radio, the planet radio. Radio, the planet. Radio, the planet radio. Radio, the planet radio. There we go. And then we need to move the rest of that hit in just here. Planet radio. Okay. This is the sound you. And I'm going to roll a bit of pitch on this channel. So adding in the time and pitch pitch shifter again. Uh, as you noticed, I've popped out the automation here, so I can do a transpose ratio. So I can just trim this off at the start and do maybe a little bit of a, a stutter intro here. Let's see how good this is going to sound. 
Let's do something. This. Okay, and then we can, of course, do something like this. Do, 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 do. Transposing the ratio. This. This is. This. And we've got a little problem here with the uh, the end of these. We just need to, to tighten this up. So let's move this down. Tighten these up a little bit. Because at the moment they're kind of clipping over each other, which is not the desired effect. So just tightening this stutter up so we don't get that clicky effect. Uh, sometimes when you've got audio that's not being cross-faded, it kind of clicks. This, this, this is the sound. This is the sound you breathe. The sound, sound, sound you. Okay, I've got a good idea here. So again, I can just pop in a new track by going uh, Alt or Option A. That's a new track. Route it through to the voice effects bus. And I want to get Sound You Breathe. And I want to run a third-party Waves plugin on this. Uh, Waves, great plugins. MRC.FM slash Waves if you want to grab them. Uh, and Metaflange is always a go-to for me to make it sound cool. The Sound You Breathe. Let's just find a good... The Sound You Breathe. The sound you breathe. Just trying to find a good one. The sound you. Some of them are a bit weirder than others. The sound you breathe. That's cool. Okay, let's go with that. This is the sound you breathe. The pl crossfading there. We're going to need some more uh, effects. That's why I've got a secondary channel here. The pl okay, let's take that. Cut it. The pl Don't need to use the whole effect. Breathe. The planet radio. The. Pl and then we'll. Um, might actually need to uh, make a third uh, little track there for sound effects. You can create as many as you want. Don't be limited by the amount of tracks you start with in a multi-track. Radio, the radio, the radio, the planet radio, the planet radio. The planet radio. Okay, and then I'm just going to take uh, this and I'm going to try and sync it here. Sync it with the sound effect here. Boom, 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 boom. Radio, the planet. No, that doesn't work, so let's just move this. It's all about trying things and finding out what works until you get that perfect sound for your radio jingle. Okay, now we've got to kind of start a planet radio, and if I zoom in and do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, 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 and now we're getting close to... This is the sound you breathe. The planet radio. The planet radio. Okay, so there we got our pretty much finished jingle. What I might do as a, a finishing gliss is actually route the sound effects through uh, to a stereo bus that I'm going to call SFX Mix. And the reason for this is just to stop the sound effects from overpowering the voiceover. Uh, SFX like that. So all of those are going through. And just here, I'd simply go in and add maybe a hard limiter. Um, doesn't do any input boost, but maybe we just stop those sound effects going over minus 3 dB. This is the sound you breathe. The planet radio. The planet radio. Just keeps the voice uh, more in the in the foreground and uh, stops the, the sound effects from peaking or going silly crazy. Uh, and then I can just mix this down. And again, I probably had a final amount of mastering. Uh, already looking pretty good and pretty nicely compressed. Uh, I might just trim that at the start there. Uh, I might just add a little fade at the end so it's all mastered, ready to load onto a playout system. Uh, now, I could, of course, go back into effects special and go for the mastering effect. Usually I do that, but there are some great third-party plugins. Uh, I love using Waves Infected Mushroom Pusher. This is really, really cool. It adds a really fat sound to your audio. Another one that I'm a fan of, obviously, I love Isotope plugins, uh, and I find Ozone 8 is just one of the best mastering plugins out there. It's just really good. And it's got something called Master Assistant, uh, which is really cool. I've got updates. That's very nice indeed. Uh, but I don't really want to update now. So I'm just going to move that off the screen <laughs> as I record this video. Uh, and you just run the Master Assistant. And for this, I'll probably need to loop this round a few times uh, for Master Assistant to pick everything up. So I'm going for, uh, let's say, uh, Reference here. And uh, Next. And then it's going to tell me it's waiting for audio. Oh, I see. Reference needs a reference track. So let's just stick with streaming. Or you can go CD. 
Uh, but streaming, streaming is usually good, especially if it's online radio. Waiting for the audio. This is the sound. And now, as you can see, it's doing its magic. It's running through. It's going to analyze the audio. It's going to set up the EQ, everything else. And it's going to add some real improvement hacks to your final radio jingle. This is definitely a last thing that you should definitely be doing on all of the audio you produce to make it sound good. And within moments now, we should have a final result here from Isotope Ozone 8. And it's going to ask, are you happy with the sound? So I can stop, I can click accept. And I'm just going to play with all of these mastering plugins on and without. This is the sound you breathe. The Planet Radio. The Planet Radio. So just a little bit of subtle limiting there, a little bit of dynamic EQ, pulling out some poor frequencies, adding in some good bass and stuff like that, rolling off at the high end. Uh, just general good stuff that you can then apply and then go and save this out to wherever you want it to save. Uh, but in general, that's how I attack creating radio jingles from start to finish, from getting the voiceover, putting it into a multi-track, adding various different effects, bussing them up so you can have multiple voice channels that all run through the same effects rack without having to duplicate many, many, many times, uh, keeping sound effects at bay. This is a very basic introduction, but if you want to go further with stuff like music production, commercial production, and a full process to set up your own Adobe Audition presets, I highly recommend you getting involved in my audio production course. Uh, if you're watching at the time of release of this video, beta testing is happening from Black Friday through to Cyber Monday. Uh, only that window, it's your opportunity to get in and only a limited amount of people being allowed in as well. Otherwise, if you're watching in the future, uh, it's most likely it's uh, available to all and you can go to mrc.fm forward slash learn for more on that. 